Hey, how's it going everybody? My name is Ryan Miller. I'm a yoga teacher here on the internet. And in this course, I'm going to show you how to use yoga and meditation to improve your skills as a trader. Now, the reason I'm putting this course together is because I've been a yoga teacher for over 10 years. And about a year ago, I got interested in learning how to day trade. And so the first thing I did, I started reading books. In the first book that I read, because I don't have a ton of money to use for trading, is this book, The Complete Penny Stock Course. I don't have a lot of money, so I figured start with the cheap stuff and learn that first. And so I read through the whole book, and at the end, what I found was weird is there's four books recommended, The Psychology of Trading, How Yoga Works, The Complete Turtle Trader, and An American Hedge Fund. And I thought, hmm, how yoga works? What does that have to do with trading, right? So I got that book. How Yoga Works. I read the book. It's really just a story. Interesting, but, you know, more just like a novel. There's not much information in terms of how to do trading or how to be successful. So I found it interesting that they were recommending a yoga story in a book about how to trade penny stocks. And so then the next book that I read, I got How to Day Trade for a Living next. And then in this book, it also said... It's talking about trading psychology, and it says, "What's different?" Talking about what's different about the traders who are success who are successful, and it says the answer to these two questions is that success and failure are based on how traders behave and how they control their emotions. That is what distinguishes between the winners and the losers. It goes on to talk about how traders take losses personally, et cetera, et cetera. Really talking about how it's the emotions that determine the success or failure and not the technical analysis. So I thought, hmm, it seems to be a trend here. So then I got another book, you know, continuing, trying to learn. Got this big one, How to Day Trade. And then in here, in the early stages, it talks about the same stuff. It says, discipline as a practice. And here it says, let me see, in or let me see. We require a minimum of 30 minutes of exercise and 15 minutes of meditation every day. I use exercise and meditation to help train my mind to cope with stress. By forcing myself to do these two things every day, I'm practicing discipline. So after reading through these day trading books and seeing how they all recommended yoga and meditation for the most part and not really having many resources out there, I figured I'm a yoga teacher. I teach meditation. Why not put a course together? You know, it's only going to help me. It'll help myself grow as a trader and put it out there for others to learn from. So before we get into the material, I'm just going to let you know that I'm not going to talk about anything technical on the trading standpoint. I've only been learning about this for about a year. Don't even really trade with real money yet. Still paper trading, you know, dabbling here and there with real money or whatever. But I don't have the expertise to teach the technical side of trading. If you want to know who I've been learning with and trading with, you can check the description below. I'll post some links there. But this course is not about the technical aspects of trading. So what this course is going to teach is it's going to teach you how to use yoga and meditation to improve your emotions as a trader, which is going to help you avoid making those dumb decisions that lead to a drastic hit to your account or even, you know, the fatal blow blowing up your account. Everybody who's looked into this for even a little bit of time has seen the warning signs and, uh, you know, seen the experts warning of what it takes. It doesn't take much to lose your whole account. It takes a whole lot to build it up and it's a grind to grow it and make gains, but it can all be gone in an instant. So, and that comes from a lack of discipline. Everybody sees it when you see that post um, in your group or whatever or in your chat of, yep, there it goes. I was stupid. I didn't follow my rules or I wasn't focused. I made a mistake, I clicked the wrong button, that's going to penalize you. So what I'm aiming to do in this course is to show you how you need to practice every day, discipline, focus, following your rules, having a routine. And the more you do that with your physical body through exercise and with your mind through meditation, it's going to help you sitting in that chair for those hours that you spend trading. Your mind is going to be able to focus more and avoid those dumb mistakes and all that stupidity that's going to cause you to blow up your entire account.
So one of the biggest things to get across is that in trading, what I've found in the first year is it seems like you are your own biggest threat. It's not the market makers. It's not the pumpers, the bashers, anybody on Twitter, you know, any of the scam artists. It's going to be you who blows up that account and loses a bunch of money. Um, so that's what this course is all about. It's trying to neutralize yourself as your biggest threat. And it's going through a certain process every single day, which I'm going to show you how to do. It's very, very simple to do this stuff. It's very easy. Anybody can do it. You don't have to be flexible. Um, I promise anybody can do this stuff and you're going to get a benefit out of it because we're going to start with wherever you're at and grow the practice from there. So it's real simple. We keep it easy. There's a nice flow to it. But on the other side of that, it's very easy not to do. So it's going to be up to you. Um, it's either you're going to do this stuff or you're not going to do it. You have to do it every day. If you don't do it every day, you're probably not going to get the same results or even close to the same results. But if you practice these things every single day, your physical exercise, get your body strong, and your meditation to get your mind strong, even stronger, keep getting stronger, keep growing, um, that's going to improve your trading for sure. So stick with me. I'm going to show you step by step what you need to do. And if you have any questions, just let me know. All right, let's get started. All right, so the first thing we want to do is identify a few key traits about yourself. So the goal here is just to classify yourself into one of three main categories. In yoga, we call them doshas, if you want to do a little more research on it. In this course, I'm just going to call them personalities. So the three personality types that we talk about are pitta, also known as the fire or summer personality, vata or winter, also known as wind, and then we have finally the kapha, spring, or water personality. So for simplicity's sake, I'm just going to refer to these as fire, water, and wind throughout the course. You can see how there's elements and seasons tied to each one. And that's just going to help you figure out what exercises to do, what types of meditations are going to be the most beneficial for you, and other things like what type of foods are going to help you out the most, different things like that. So to figure out which one you are, there's different quizzes you can take. You know, for the most part, you should be able to get a general idea of which one you are. Everyone's going to have elements of each one, but most people will be dominant in between one to two of these. Some are very dominant in one. Others have a mix of one to two. And there's occasionally people who have a blend of all three. But for the most part, people tend to be dominant in one or two areas. So to figure out which one you're in, let's take a look. So the fire personality is typically very athletic, has good endurance, has a quick digestion, can eat something and work out very soon after. Very quick thinker, sharp thinker. Um, on the other side of things, they can be prone to anger, mood swings, irritability. You know, it kind of just goes with the fire metaphor. They have a very fiery personality. Tend to need a lot of hard exercise, vigorous exercise. And when they get out of balance, they can start getting hot, start getting angry, start making bad decisions, getting real irritable, you know, as they say, getting fired up, start flipping out. So, you know, if you're this type of person, type of person to bang the steering wheel, lose your mind in traffic or whatever, you know, how do you think you're going to react to losing a bunch of money in a trade? So that's where the self-control comes in. So learning about yourself, learning that you have that fire personality, a lot of things we're going to do in this course are going to teach you how to not flip out, how to not lose your temper, because that can be very dangerous when you trade in stocks. So when it comes to the market itself, this fire type is going to be either bullish or bearish. It could be either one as long as it has very strong conviction in one direction or the other. So if it could be going up very strong, that would be similar to this fire personality, or if it's tanking real strong, similar to the fire personality as well. So any clear trend one way or the other, I would classify it as a fire type, you know, and that's when this type of personality is going to do well in the market. When they're ready to go, they're fired up, the market's going the same direction they think it's going to go, that's where they probably make a lot of their money. So you know, thinking about it from that perspective, you just got to learn to harness it, go with it when it's there, but also temper it when it's not there. All right, next up, let's talk about the wind type. The wind type of personality, they tend to be tall, thin, have a wiry frame, 
and their thoughts are very quick. Their movements as well. Their, both their thoughts and their movements tend to be very quick. And they're just like the wind whipping through. You know, at their when they're at their best, they can be quick-witted, make real quick decisions, sharp thinkers. But when they get out of balance, they can be real unorganized, forgetful, start making bad decisions because they're thinking too quick. And in general, you know, body-wise, they can get cold easily, tend to run cold, especially their hands and feet can get cold very quickly. And, um, you know, these, these types of personality, this type of person needs the physical exercise every morning. Call it getting grounded in yoga. When your mind is crazy like that, you know, whips on every direction, you need to focus you need, and you need to do that. Or the best way to do that is with physical exercise. Do something a little more challenging, something to focus your brain, you know, as, as opposed to letting it run wild. Also, the food, warm tea, Something nice and hearty is going to help you keep your mind from, you know, running every which way, staying away from all the sugary stuff, which is only going to contribute to your mind going bananas as well. So we're going to help out with that throughout the course as well. So anything to help you focus with this personality type is going to be great. It's going to be a huge benefit, help you harness the quick mind that you have in the market and benefit from it. So when it comes to the market, the wind type of personality is just like a highly volatile market going up, going down, going up, going down. You don't know which way it's going. Shooting up high wicks on both ends of the candlesticks. <clears throat> if you just picture that, that would be the equivalent of a wind market. So it's like a stock that can't make up its mind. It wants to go up, then it's down, then it's up, then it's down. So that's the wind personality for the market. And finally, the last personality type that we talk about is the water type or the spring type. So this type goes with the spring season. Everything is wet. Everything's kind of slow moving, just coming into bloom. These personality types tend to be a little bit heavier frame and a lot slower moving than the other two. Very hard to get going. Very hard to get up in the morning. Uh, it takes them a while to get going. So, you know, this type of market's is very similar to trading sideways. This personality is similar to trading sideways. Just churning along, not going up, not going down, just sort of maintaining its position, trading in its range. Um, so, you know, if you're this personality type trading in the market, you need to work to get your energy moving as much as possible, in my opinion. Trading, especially day trading, requires very quick decision making. So, you know, you need to be able to react quickly. So this personality type can be good because they avoid making quick, crazy decisions. But at the same time, I think they could be hesitant to pull a trigger and miss out on a lot of things. So, you know, overall, the money making energy is going to be that fire energy. That's the one that we want to bring in. Um, that's the strong direction one way or another. You know, you know, you need that range one way or another to make money so that's the energy that we're trying to bring in and trying to harness so if we want if we're long we want that stock to go up strong if we're short we want it to go down strong so you know in other words we're looking for the stocks that are on fire one way or the other just boom going up or going down then we have to look at ourselves through this process that we're going to be taking here and see you know what is our energy and try to get it to mesh with whatever the market's doing and if your energy is going bananas and you're fired up, but the market is going sideways, you're not clicking. So we need to figure all that out. And that's how I think we're going to avoid making dumb decisions, dumb trades, doing stuff that we know we shouldn't be doing. Um, just because our energy is feeling one way, we're feeling a certain way, you know, not and not controlling ourselves emotionally. And we just decide something's going to go up because we want it to go up because we thought it was going to go up and then it doesn't it goes down and that's how you lose your money so in general like i said these are the three personality types sort of figure out which one you think you are i'll post a link or a couple links in the description to see you can take a couple quizzes online see which one you are once you figure that out we're going to start gearing some different exercises based on which personality type you are just help you get your energy moving the right way in the morning so when you sit down to trade, everything is calm, everything is focused, and everything is all good. So your homework for this one, figure out your personality type, figure out if you're strong one 
or if you have a blend of one to two, or maybe a mix of all three, it is possible. And then let me know in the comments which personality type you are and how you think that affects your trading, and we'll keep it moving from there. See you on the next one.